Good afternoon my lovers, I'm back out in my garden, it's been pouring with rain all day, but there's a gap in the rain showers, so I'm going to show you what's inside the black box. Ooh. So I've got two of the screws out, and I've got these mole grips, and they've got really vicious teeth on them, it's a really good pair, I don't know, I think they're American made, but um, I'll be trying to, they've got these grips, and they got these really nice teeth, I'll just tighten that up a touch, and uh, it's biting onto the, ah, oh, there we go, so that's about one, loose, yeah, it's loose, last one, hopefully it's going to come off, oh no, that did grip, Try again. Come on, twist. Ah. Right. Is it going to come off? I'm going to get a screwdriver and force it. Oh, here she blows. It's coming. Ta-da! Oh. Well, I don't know what that is, I'm sure. Oh. Some sort of a... Ah, seal. Oh. Huh. Looks like wax. It looks like wax. It's got some like wires in there. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's a mealy worm. Look, my dad's chucked mealy worms on the table for the birds. <laughs> I had to go back in. It started to rain. It's gone off a bit now. Right. So let's see if this is wax. Yeah, it's wax. It melted. Right. So that was a bit of a disappointment, but there you go. You never know. I thought it was going to be full of gold coins. There's another seal going across there, but... I might have to hit that a bit harder to get that off. But I, I think it's just something to do with the uh, British Telecom. I've got another experiment. I've got my... Uh, pan here, my gold pan, I should move that over there, and uh, we're going to do an experiment with some oh, vinegar, I bought some vinegar online, great big, cost me about five or a gallon, three litres, yeah three litres, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I saw this way this bloke cleans his iron objects with vinegar, so you, you submerge them in vinegar for about three or four days, and gradually it eats into the rust and it just flakes off with a little bit of help from a wire brush. So that's what I'm going to do. And then later on tonight, I'm going to do a live video about seven o'clock. Right, let's go and get the uh, metal objects. All right, here's a key. And as you can see, after once you leave it out of the ground, it starts to crack. Look, see the cracks there? There's a crack going down through there. And it literally starts falling apart look see the cracks in this one lovely little hatchet and it is just literally falling to bits let's get a screwdriver on that bit it starts cracking up so what i really want to do is try and preserve this yeah, look, look at it just flaking off Got a crack going down through there, look. Mm. So this this bloke, I saw. I'll, I'll put a link in the description to his uh, his channel, and he, he reckons that it just preserves iron objects, and the rust will just fall away. I got a key here. Mm. 
important. So hopefully this is going to work. And I've got another key here. It's probably my best one. And uh, even this one that's starting to bits are falling off of it. When I got it out with the bag, it was the bag was full of bits. So what you want to do is try and preserve this. So I'm going to put that in there and we're going to fill it with vinegar. Ordinary white spirit vinegar. And I reckon if you leave it in there for about three or four days, let's have a sniff. Yeah, it smells like vinegar. It, it uh, gradually, all this, this rust will just fall away and you'll be able to rub it off with a little wire brush. Right. Right, so that's, that's going to be my little experiment for, oh, let's just turn that over. Might put a bit more in just to cover that in a minute. And uh, I'm going to leave that outside and uh, for about four or five days and I'll get back to you uh, in, in four or five days. Yeah, so later on tonight at seven o'clock I'm going to go live to the world. So make sure you're there at seven o'clock uh, GMT, Greenwich Mean Time and uh, I'll see you later. <laughs>